Okay, so this is a short little video just to introduce you to the quad grade and 1.8 meter shark grade. It's a good little package. The um, quad grade unit is waterproof. So in an open cab machine like this, it's ideal. You don't have any of the damp issue problems that you would get with other um, machine control setups. It gives you a very simple and easy to read display. This would be in manual mode when you want it to run off your grade receivers and your um, laser. You just click it into auto running it would then go and seek to bring the receivers as you can see in the background there onto grade and then it would just quite happily raise lower as the ground dictates so that you're always grading within plus or minus three mil when you want to be just running the blade in manual just click it out you can bring the blade down and up manually which is replicated if you have direct connect on your machine to your joystick buttons we can put in an offset so that you can take off a bit more or add in a bit more material and just bring it back up obviously you can go the other side so you can be sitting above finish height and then just work your way down nice and simply bring it back on so then you're back on grade again with that quick disconnect and connect for your machines on the event it would just be the faster connector pull that over, all the back lock disappears, pull the trailer socket apart, undo your pins and that's the attachment detached. This wire here is just for the direct connect so if you're on a skid steer you just put in your um, direct connect at this point and that would be driving it off of your skid steers buttons as well. On this one we're using variable grade mobile receivers. These are 300 long, you can get longer. This way that allows the um, offset to work over a greater distance if they're longer. But otherwise we seem to work fine with these 300s. As you can see if I step back, the overhang at the front is um, minimal, depending upon whether we're looking at the tire of a bit you've only got about a 500 mil overhang so you can get right up close to fences and boundaries if it's just curbs obviously you can look even lower and then it just becomes the width for the front wing unlike a lot of blades we work in both directions so we've got a cutting blade on the front for cutting and grading and the same on the rear so you've not got any wasted time when you're backtracking with your blade up in the air because you can't work backwards leave it down and you're grading in both directions we've got the wheel on the front that can be dropped down for ease and then that way you can um, got a stable bit for grading off of we've got the wing mirrors on the front which will show you what's in your box and where the corners of your bits are Okay, so now as you can see, we've put down the uh, front frame and wheel. This then allows you to carry the um, blade rigidly so that you get a lovely, accurate finish. We've got, as we've said before, the mirrors on the front. Which if I jump up into the driver's position, if you now look in there, as you see, you'll be able to see the wings of your machine and the material you're carrying, whether you've got anything in the bucket or not. Again, so you can sort out what um, load you have or haven't got, so you're not wasting time thinking you've got something in the front, but in fact you have nothing. 